Hi everybody, you're live um, at Next Step Beauty with Victoria. Um, so today I'm going to do some simple flowers using your fine brushes. I wanted to start with something quite um, straightforward and then over the coming weeks as and when we do more and more live videos, which we're going to try and do every Friday at 12.30 so you all know when to um, log in and check them out we can then add more and more detail. So one of you did from last week comment um, about wanting some nail art, so I thought that would be a good video to do. And sometimes it's just about finding some ideas. So in front of me now, I've got um, some uh, one of my nails that's got um, a color fade on it and some basic flowers. I've got another one here, which has got um, the butterfly, and also some of uh, the little flowers again. So once you learn your flower technique, you can build and build on it and just use it for a number of different designs. Today I was thinking about doing this design for you. Um, so with the color fade of the red, the pink and the white with some red and pink flowers and then some finer detail using the white and a cup of little gems there so um, that you can see them. So throughout, uh, just bear with me if you want to ask any questions please do if i don't come straight back to you um, i will come back once i've finished um, as i said this is all new so bear with us so firstly i've prepped my nail these um, stiletto long tips are really good for displaying your nail art on firstly for practicing because you've got the length there but secondly so a client can see what you're doing and what designs that she's going to work with so white block it make sure there's no shine on it at all um, and then using um, a slightly angled brush, so it's got one end slightly longer than the other. I've got three colors here. So normally I would say start with a darker color fading into the light. So I'm gonna start with my red. So I've put it onto my uh, brush. I'm gonna start at the corner. And as I said, if you wanna ask any questions, please do. So all I'm doing is diagonally just working this um, acrylic paint across the nail. If you run out, grab some more. You want to do it to the stage at which your brush becomes quite dry and you run out of paint. So keep working it in. I'm then gonna go straight into my pink, so I'm not wiping it off. I'm then just gonna come away from the red slightly, working it in and blending down. So you can see I just work until I can blend those two colors together. If you feel like you get too much on your brush, just wipe it on the tissue beside you. But what you're aiming for is not to get a straight line of where you've changed the color, but just that color blend. And then I'm gonna go straight into my white, just again away, so start at the end, and work it down. So you can do this with any colors, ladies, really. Um, obviously coming up to Christmas time you might want to use some of the reds, the glitteries, the blues quite pretty at Christmas time like the design I showed you at the beginning that always works quite well so just keep working it until it's really dried and you'll find that you get even more colors onto the nail than what you first started with so I've got a light pink going on there as well but just keep fading it until you're happy. And this is just your background, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Wipe your brush. Then we're gonna just allow it to dry while we then get our other colors prepped. So make sure it's stuck onto your um, wooden orange stick. It's not gonna fall off. Just clean your brush. So always have a little pot of water just beside me. Wipe it on the side. Wipe it on your little working tissue, as I called it. So with your flowers, um, you can do just your basic petals. Now, normally we say a five petal um, flower is the best rather than a symmetrical two, um, two to four petal. Okay, so I'm gonna dip it into my water, just clean my brush. And again, I'm gonna put two colors. So on the longer tip of the brush, I'm gonna put um, the darker color and then the lighter color just on the inner. 
So I'm going to work over the red and the pink area. You can work right up to the nail. See, this is quite a long nail. Your nails you'd be working on maybe um, on clients and obviously your own might not be quite as long. So I'm going to go into, let's do the white on the inner and then the pink on the outer. So we'll do one flower up this end and one flower on the outer. So I'm just going to warm it onto my hand first of all. So just bear with me, if you can't see, just let us know. So I'm just going to do it on the end here first of all. So I'm going to pop the first petal on. I'm just going to tap my brush round. One petal. Now this design, it takes a little building. So don't panic to start with if you think, oh, my petals don't look amazing. We're going to outline these. We're going to add some inner detail. It's all about just building your design gradually and having the confidence to do that. So I'm just literally patting as I'm going out to create my five petals. I'm then going to move up to do another one here. I'm just going to change the outer color now to the red because I've moved on to the different tone of the nail. So I'm just going to come just off center. So I'm going to come into here. So pat, pat, pat for your first petal. Pat, pat, pat for your second. If you, again, if you start to run out of paint, just grab some more. And you want to keep your petals really close together to start with, so they almost merge into one another. So then it gives you a chance where you can work and outline them. I'm going to do another one just slightly off center. So never just do one on its own, always do three to four, I would say flowers in a slight design pattern. I'm just going to come off of the nail slightly. So we're going to do like half a flower this time. So just tap, tap, tap. Moving out. So it's just about becoming confident with what brushes you're going to work with, what paints you're going to work with. It's all personal preference and it really is trial and error. So you can see that flower is just slightly off. And I'm going to do one just at the very end of the nail up here. So again, we will do, let's do a pink and a red. Always warm it on your hand, first of all, just to give it a bit of movement as you're working through. So do remember, ladies, we have our Black Friday offers on. So you can give us a call in the office to get your buy one, get one free on your courses. The girls are ready and waiting. The phones have been busy this morning, so bear with us if we haven't come straight back to you. Right, so I'm just going to wipe my brush. Now I'm going to outline these. So you can outline your flowers in either the uh, black, which looks really, really effective, like I have done on the green one. Black can be quite difficult when you first start because your hand can get quite shaky or you can take the white or the red that you've used to do the flower. So on these ones, I'm going to use white to make them stand out a little bit, and then we'll add the detail in as we go along. So just wet your brush. You want a finer brush, like so, a slightly pointier one. Keep the bristles together. Wet it slightly and wet the paint slightly, just to give yourself a little bit more movement. But again, if it feels like it's getting too wet and it's slippery, just dry your brush slightly. So all I'm going to do is just outline my flower. Now this is freehand, so don't panic if your line's not perfect. That's the whole point of freehand. The transfers that you use for nail designs and that obviously they give you that perfect symmetrical flower. But that's not what we're trying to achieve here. So this will just give you something to start practicing on getting more and more confident as you go through. Okay, and again, I'm gonna keep with the white on the red flower as well, just outline. Don't put too much pressure on your brush either because it'll go quite flat and then you get a thicker line. Keep wetting the paint if it feels like it's drying out a little bit. And you'll find with the acrylic um, paints, they do dry really quickly, so it allows you to work and move on 
pretty quick throughout your design. And with something like this, you could just continually build and build the design up as much or as little as you wanted. Some clients will want more detail than others. Okay, I'm just going to outline this little one over here. So I wanted to give you something that you can just start practicing coming up to the party season. You're going to start having more and more people ask for some nail art. So I've just outlined these and I'm going to just add a center point to them. So I'm going to use the black to do this. I'm going to add four little points, four to five little dots in the center of the flower before I then add a gem. So I'm just going to come back. So just one, two, three, four, five to the next flower. One, two, three, four, five. And then I can put a little gem just in the center of these before I finish. So as and when you start building it and you outline it, doing the detail in the center of the nail, it really brings um, the flower to, to life, I would say. Okay, let's wipe my little brush. So I'm just going to finish the paint detail before I add the gems into there. So I'm going to do this with the white. Keeping them quite light colours, but you can literally do this with whatever colours you want. Always practice your designs first before you do them on anybody. Just so you get a feel of what you're going to be doing and practice more than anything. So I'm going to go this way first of all. So I hope you can all see, bear with me, my hand leaning across. So I'm just going to bring the line round and we're going to swivel into there a little bit more. And I'm going to bring it up slightly. So do remember that you can comment if you've got any questions. If I don't come back to you, I will promise to answer as soon as I'm finished. So I've just added in two little swirls there. I'm going to join these two flowers um, just with some simple little dots in between. So as I said, you can create as much or as little detail as you want, depending on what your client wants really. But something so simple, just using two brushes, and I, people always say to me, do you have to be really artistic to do nail art? The answer is no, it's just practice. And the hardest thing I would say is finding a design to follow. So make your designs up, have them on a board, and then you can just take them off as and when you need them. And just keep practicing and practicing and you will get better and better with time. But they, you don't have to be a great artist to be good at nail art. Okay, so as you can see, I've done my paintwork. Now what I'm going to do is just using a little bit of top coat, I'm just going to put a bit in the center of the flowers, just in between um, where I've done the little black dots. And I'm going to place a little flat rhinestone, okay? So I just use a little wooden stick and a little bit of top coat on the end of it. I've got my pot there already open with the rhinestones. So I can just literally pick them up and place them into the center. It's just a really pretty way of finishing off your design. Really simple, place them on. And then what I would suggest is that you seal this with two layers of your UV gloss top coat something like NSI Glaze and Go, um, the IBD UV top coat's really good as well. And then that would just seal everything in and bring it to shine. So as you can see, that's your completed design. So we've done the color fade first. So we went red, pink, white. We then let it dry. We've then done our flowers using our angled brush like so. So on the outer corner, I done the darker color and then on the inner one I done the lighter. We built our petals, so five flower petal, five petal flower should I say. Then we done our outline and our dots, gems into the center and then top coat to finish. Okay, I hope you've all enjoyed it. Um, oh, I can see that Zoe's popped on there. What brushes do we recommend using? 
it really is personal preference. I like the crystal nail art brushes. That's my personal preference because they're quite pretty and really good quality to work with. But do look online um, and obviously search for your packs and just try really. Um, but I hope that helps you, Zoe. If you do have any other questions, remember you can just keep on posting after the video and I'll do my very best to answer you. We're going to be back next Friday at 12.30 for our party nails. Um, so if you've got any particular ideas that you'd like me to go over with you, let me know. But I'll see you at 12.30 next Friday. Thanks for being live with me. Have a good weekend.